Good day! It's great to be with you. As we all know, the COVID-19 is an infectious disease that has caused significant disruptions and hardships in the different aspects of our lives, such as in our social, economic, education, and most especially in our health. This COVID-19 pandemic was begun in the year 2019, but up until now, our country still experiencing and suffering from this virus which takes the lives of our loved ones and friends. We cannot hide the fact that this virus don't choose whether you're poor or rich. Since COVID-19 spreads primarily from person to person, all we need is to fight from this disease considering our responsibilities. We can protect ourselves and get rid of this by following the safety protocols that have been implemented by the government. All we can do is to follow because of the fact that these are for the sake of our safety, such like in just simply washing our hands frequently with soap and clean water. When we sneeze or cough, we just need to cover it with our elbows, just like this. Another, we must need to avoid touching our eyes, nose, and mouth. Limit our social gatherings, and time spent with crowded places. We need to avoid contact with someone who's sick. Another, we need to clean and disinfect objects at home and in our surroundings. When people of the Philippines practice and make this as our habit of life for this new normal, we can be able to minimize and get rid of the spread of the coronavirus. And most importantly, we must be vaccinated since it's the best way to protect and secure ourselves from this spreading virus. From my observation, some people say that they don't want to get vaccinated because of having some fear and many what-ifs for what will be the result. But the least we can do to help is to follow this since it's for our own security and protection. And through this, our lives will be saved. And for sure, our country will be free from this spreading virus. Take this as an advice that at this time of hardships, all we need to do is to be responsible obedient for all the agencies that know what are the best for us. And most of all, we must be grateful to God that we are still breathing despite this pandemic that we have faced. This is Maria Villarina Simanalim. Good day.